Today, we're talking about Knob Creek Store Pick Single Barrel. And this one is, well, these store picks are everywhere, at least in the Ohio, Kentucky area, plentiful. It seems like every single liquor store has its own. This one is Poor House Bottle Shop slash Geist Store Pick. So some of these, you know, liquor stores team up. And uh, at the bottom, it, it, the Knob Creek has lost its, usually says nine year on here, but here they make try to make you do some math. Uh, but bottled basically more or less nine and a half years mm -hmm. at this point. Um, if you do a little math at the bottom. It was October 10th, 2012. And they bottled it last year, 2022. February 18th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them I think are like give or take a, a month or whatever. And a lot of people are speculating why the bottle is wavy. I have an idea. Okay, why? I think they're trying to make it like a creek. Like it's water. Uh... I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just pulling, pulling this out of my I ass. I think you can see better from this side. Yeah, like it's like a, it's like a body of water. Clever. I don't know. I like it. I like the bottle. The type is really good. So Nothing. Good designer job. Yeah, yeah. From a graphic design standpoint, this is beautiful. Gold. I mean, I, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but... No, we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, hey, you know, the bourbon can taste better. You know, why does and not... And look good. <laughs> well, why does Booker's have, like, the expensive box, even though it probably cost them a few dollars? The presentation, right? I love the the type, the gold letters. Everything about it says bold flavor. Nothing frou frou, any kind of you know, you know, nothing feminine about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is manly bourbon bold AF. You know? Don't be a sexist. <laughs> Woman also can be bold. Okay? Right, 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 right. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. It's like the regular Knob Creek we saw at Jim Beam Distillery. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We went on a, on a tour of uh, Jim Beam. Last year. Yeah, and um, as you're leaving, you can get your own. Basically, you. Nah, the only thing you can do is select what bottle you want. You pick out the bottle, they're like, okay, and they put it, you put your own sticker on your name with your name on it. It goes down a conveyor belt and it gets filled with this Knob Creek nine year. They have two versions. I mean, well. You also sterilize the bottle. Yeah. With a. Uh some dirty bourbon. Oh yeah, yeah, like the water, the bourbon water, water found. But anyway, at the gift shop, this is like, they have the 120 proof stuff. And I was just getting into bourbon and I never, was, you know, when I, when, I, when I got it and I drank it at home, I was like, oh, yucky, too much, too, too hot, you know, but then it's- You were like a bourbon virgin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So the, I was a high proof virgin, couldn't handle it, but now, it, you know what I mean? It really got me into it. It, it, it elevated my taste, my bourbon taste buds to, mm -hmm. to this new level. Now I love, I mostly prefer high proof stuff. So thank you, Knob Creek. Because your tongue is dead. You yeah, yeah. My, my, my taste buds strong. have been singed completely. But yeah, like usually at the store, you'd see like the, the nine year version. But it, or, or like a, a white label that has like the 100 proof. Yeah, I remember you also could put your fingertips. Yeah, the thumb. Yeah, on the, oh no, because they did dip it in the wax. Mm -hmm. The wax was still hot. You could. You yep. Know. Yep. Yeah, just a little flourish, but. Oh, it's a but, cool experience for tourists. It was fun. Much better than Four Roses. We yeah, went four to Roses Four Roses. Roses. This, it's, it wasn't distillery. It, it was distillery. It was like a distillery tour, but it was very like... It was so sad and depressing, almost like... Well... It was like a cemetery experience. 
But the bourbon is good, but it was very sad. Well, we didn't get, like, usually on a, on a bourbon tour, you get to see everything, or, like, you they walk you around with the distillery. This one was kind of like, here are our four uh, mash bills. You, you do a little tasting. He walk you down, like, a path, open the rickhouse, and, like, uh, like the, the, yeah, any questions? It's bourbon. Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> let's go back, guys. So we didn't go onto the, we didn't, we didn't get a VIP tour. We just got the very basic. And when we were there, when we were there, it was, like, raining. But it was I, like I halfway, and like we, we got there a little early, and it was like the, it was closed. The lady wouldn't let us in. Yeah, it's so stupid. Yeah, we were all like staying outside on the anyway, rainy I'm day. sure these fine people are here just to uh, to uh, here to see uh, whether Knob Creek is good or not. Okay. The store pick, okay. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Can you like shake it like a wine? Now I want to do it too much. Just a little bit, but you're not supposed to beat it up. Mm. I don't know. There's no rules here. Oh, <laughs> There's, this oh, is what? bourbon. It's going to turn to a cream? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is bourbon, man. There's no it's supposed to be fun. It smells good. Yeah? Yeah. It has like a deep aroma. A little, little, little... Yeah, I think when it's a decent bourbon, even though if you even put your nose like this, the alcohol is not going to like punch you in the face it's just yeah it smells nice like from all what are you getting what kind of nuts i think maybe like candies cherry mm -hmm. like sweet cherry it does have like a like a some kind of allspice i think woody i think i love knob creek in old fashioned with a cherry well yeah <laughs> any, any, almost any bourbon is going to be good in old No, it's not true. Really? No. Okay. Yeah, it's hot. Definitely. Mmm, I can taste walnut. Yeah? Yeah. This so, is nutty. Yeah, taste. yeah, yeah in the middle to me it feels very like uh like spiky let's say you have like a bookers or you have some other like high-end high proof stuff it's like more mellow this one has like just like bursts of flavors only in the beginning and then it mellows out to like a really like sweet, sweet yeah i think when you like start when you what's it called when you make your first sip mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah it, in front of the palate it feels like fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> a proof. For a couple of seconds. And then you can feel a strong walnut taste. And maybe uh, some tobacco too. A lot of a lot of like like barrel flavor. Yeah. In a good way though, mm -hmm, I love it. Mm -hmm. Sweet finish. Has like a sweet corn finish. Yeah, but it's very light, like almost invisible. Yeah, that's nice. Now, I guess the biggest competitor to this, well, first of all, I just don't see a lot of people talking about it. I don't know why. About Knob Creek? Well, the, the Knob Creek that people like uh, is the 100 proof stuff. Like, Knob Creek 12 year is almost gone off the shelves. You can't see any. Forget Knob Creek 15 year, it's always gone. But like, they have like this 100 proof stuff that's like super, people love it in high demand. But this 120 proof stuff, it's very, um, it's, it's very, I think, uh, slept on, I think. It's very underrated. I mean, I think people can't drink, like, high-proof things a lot. What about, like, Stag Jr.? Like, that's like, if, if that hits the shelves, it's gone immediately, right? But it's so people a, it's like, a like, unicorn, okay? It's a unicorn. We're just talking about taste-wise. Not, not great, not close to... Not even, like... In the same ballpark as a unicorn? No, not close. But it's just because it's, like, all over available? And 
if it was like made more in limited production or whatever, then it would could be. It would just taste yeah, better. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I think when it's like a something rare, it doesn't matter how how high the proof is. But when it's like j just we just talk about like not 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 like the availability, not the marketing, just the, like the, the actual juice inside. No, it's not close to Stab Junior. But is it better than? Let's see. Oh, uh, the rare breed, cause, cause you know, a, a rare breed to me it was okay, but it was just like boom, hit you with this, just like just a black pepper, the whole time. It's like you sip black pepper, black pepper, black pepper, and then it like lets you go. Yep. That's like oh, the only one note. Yep. This one is like multi-dimensional, so it feels like uh, a little better. You're saying, you're saying that people like buy rare breed more often than Knock Creek. I think now they're we'll both always on the shelf. No, no, no. Because you said like white people slipping on on this amazing Knob Creek when they can buy it, and I, I mean I'm just saying. It. I think it's way underrated. I think, I, and I, like if when you try to type in like a review for this thing, there are some reviews, but there aren't a ton. I think it's. Mm. I don't know why. It, I think it should be a lot more popular. Mm. Maybe because it's a Jim Beam. People hate Jim Beam. Why? I don't know. I don't think so. Who reviews Jim Beam? <laughs> People. <laughs> the real Jim Beam? Maybe they think Knob Creek is very close to Jim Beam. That's why they. Could... Because it's like it's like related to like a big a distillery and they make a lot of it. Therefore, it's not as high quality, right? I I don't know. I think Knob Creek is pretty good. I don't know why people not drinking it. I don't know. My personal opinion, it's fire. I love it. Or it's mm, or for sixty bucks, it's great. Oh, you know what? I actually, it's so strange. Like for example, maybe we are very like immature. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think people who understand. Speak for yourself. Okay. No, people <laughs> who understand the coffee, for example, they always prefer drink very sour coffee like when you drink they say like it's an amazing coffee it's so rare it's so expensive and when you try it it's so sour sometimes bitter it's not tasty and i don't even understand why it's like such a high quality amazing beautiful like all experts says it's the best coffee and it tastes sour and bitter but maybe some people who are really experts in bourbon, they love some bourbon that's not tasty for most of people. Well, yeah, like, yeah, of course, like the higher proof stuff, you need to like accumulate yourself, you need to dip your toe in with some light, light stuff, light ABV, and then you graduate to like full, bold flavor. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this why maybe- You're not gonna like, yeah, you're not gonna start well, off drinking this stuff. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I like not prick me because I don't understand bourbon well. But I agree. I think it's a great burger. And how much is it? Uh, I found it for forty-nine dollars, fifty bucks. At some stores, some stores will have it for sixty. Uh, but even without these store picks, which, by the way, I don't think, even though there are individual barrel picks for these stores, I don't think they, they in taste, they uh, uh, drastically uh, matter. They're drastically different between each other, um, but overall, it's such a good value. I mean, yeah, I like it's like it's a lot of flavor. It's deep, and it has like the beginning and the what's it called, middle, mid palate, mid palate, and great finish. Yeah, the, oh, my only criticism would be, what would be cool if, I know these are all 120 proof, no matter like what store pick, because they like, you know, I'm sure the, the, they pick the barrels and they probably like dilute it or like put a little water in it. So all their, like everything's 120 proof. Why not have the proof vary? Because what, what is vary? Be different. Uh. Why not have Obviously, every single barrel they pick is gonna have slightly different proof. Why add water to it 
proof it down to 120 for each one. Why not? I mean, it would be... It might not make that much of a difference, but it would add like a little bit more fun to it because like, oh, this store pick is like, you know, 220. This store pick is 215. Maybe because it's a big corporation. They want everything be the same. Standard because like cheaper yeah. or... Yeah. But it has to do one step. Like, okay, so they don't want anything. Like, who knows? Maybe you can sue them for doing a different... Proof. No, they write it. No, no. Who knows? They, they don't want problems, you know? <laughs> no, all sorts of big distilleries, they just, when they do like a single barrel, they just write the, they measure the proof and just write it out here, like with a marker. Who? Who? For example, because, okay, we went to New Rick. New Rick does that? But By it's hand. a small distillery. It's like a, like a baby distillery. Of course they can do it. But this knobcrate came from JMB, which is corporation. I mean, I'm blanking right now. I can look at my collection, but I'm sure like big. It's like Procter and Gamble trying to. But is that like make... is it is it that more much more effort to just measure the proof and then actually add the pro pro appropriate amount of water so it's always 120 proof? I so bet, they don't have to change I the bet, label. I bet they produce more knobcrate than New Reef. Like right. thousand times. Okay. Can you imagine put a different numbers on each bottle? Well, they already put a different. They already. They're already select the, the people here. There's already selected the barrel, and they already put in the computer. They they make a new like custom label. I don't know. I I think maybe it would be cool, but I, I think it's because big corporations. Yeah. There's I mean, probably a, like a real I, the, the real reason for it. I'm thinking what I like as efficiency. Don't like about this not good. You want to try to water it down? I think you already put water. No. no. That was a video yesterday. <laughs> oh, it's too much. Just like a drop will do. <laughs> okay. That sucks. I don't want to spill water in the, in the Rick house. <laughs> yeah, I like the smell. Oh no, I got the. I got black floaty waxes from the. It's okay. I'm sure they're edible, right? Now I feel it smells like tobacco. Mm, this stuff is badass. Yeah. It's it's really nice, and I actually I love it more with water. Yeah. It opens up. Mhm. Mm yeah, it opens up, and now it's more like I can feel corn. It's like the sweet, it, it sweet. became even more sweet. Yeah. It's... That's why I like high, higher proof stuff because like you can always just proof it down a little bit, but like. If you buy a bottle that's already kind of low proof, you can't go up, right? And you're done. Mm. That's uh... yeah. It, it tastes really nice. I don't know. I think maybe because it was first distillery we went to, or one of the first bourbons we tried. But yeah, it, it's really nice. Yeah, the more you drink this, the more like you get used to the heat mm -hmm. and the more you start, you know, your palate becomes like a little numb and the more you start getting into just like the more subtle flavors. Yeah, I think maybe only thing I don't like, it's the um, uh, aftertaste. You yeah. don't like the Jim Bean aftertaste, or like the nutty, nutty aftertaste? No, for me it's not nutty. nutty. For me it's more... Like wood oak or something? Yeah. Or like the dupe? Yep. Yep. Just yeah. like like wood, right? Yeah. Like I am chewing some piece of wood. <laughs> like piece of barrel? Yep, yep. It's got a long, I mean, kind of a long finish. But I don't know, can you have like nice aftertaste with bourbon? 
Yeah. Overall, guys, really, really, really good. I love it. Of course, it's not, you know, this is the bottle that grew on my chest hair, you know. You can't be a wimp about it. It has like some punchy, strong flavors. But if you can accumulate, you know what I mean, accustom yourself to that, mm -hmm. it's like it's really rewarding and super good. I mean, this is definitely, if you walk into like, oh, like, let's say if you go into a dive bar and most of the, like their bourbon is kind of junky. If you see this Knob Creek, like like the 120 proof, I mean, mm -hmm. and it's probably going to be like 10, five bucks or six bucks for a pour or whatever. It's the way to go. Yeah. I actually, I would, like every time you go to places where it's very like average selection. Like a bowling alley. Yeah, I remember last time. Yeah, yeah. I think Knob Creek is the best one from like regular Buffalo Trace, Wild Turkey, what else? Woodford. Woodford Reserve, but it's not often. There are a lot of, most places. The Four Roses. Four Roses is a little flower, uh, flower, floor. Uh, most places would definitely, like a casino would have Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark. Is this better than Maker's Mark? Yep, for sure. All right, the verdict is in. Get this stuff. Cheers. Yeah, cheers.